are going further down the album of the stage by Avenge Sevenfold with the next song, Goddamn. I'm super excited to hear it. I'm super excited to finish this album this month. I swear, guys, we'll do a lot more Avenge Sevenfold reactions so I can finish this album because I love the album so far. I will say Goddamn is probably my least favorite song. Least? I don't hate it. I do not hate it. I still jam to it. God damn, it's starting heavy as fuck. Ben Shemful will bring a death metal back, I see. <laughs> that's, that's true. That's totally death metal right there. Yeah, yeah. that's a death metal riff, like 100%. Holy 100%. shit. I knew it was going to stop. This is your least favorite? God damn, that, mean, mean, that means the rest of the album is probably a fucking ama- phenomenal. <laughs> <laughs> it's mostly because of the chorus. I, I'm not that a chorus is catchy as fuck. A lot of unsafe things for YouTube were said after this part right here. But good news, it's up on our Patreon. We have it as part of our lowest tier possible, and it helps directly support us. If you'd like, go ahead and check that out. Back to the clip. The verse is fucking badass, and... I just kind of wish they kept that energy going, you know what I mean? Come on! That chorus is kept the going! Yeah. No flag! Come on, how's that knocking? The Stuck lyrics are good! I like the lyrics, <laughs> but... I, I just, I, I'm not a fan of the chorus. I wish they had kept up the energy they had it built up in that verse. I always appreciate a good break, right? I oh. love that contrast, but here, it just, to me, it doesn't work. You know, that. I don't hate the song! I don't hate it! <laughs> we understand! <laughs> Stay, calm down. No. <laughs> All right. Uh, hold dude, on. that verse is sick, I, though. I fucking love that verse. Dude, dude, that was awesome. That, was I, that chorus is awesome. Like the guitar melody right there. Dude, I love that. Dude, and then it goes right back to death metal tremolo picking. Fuck yes. Is, that was a great transition back into the verse, now, dude. Yeah, because they slow down those band. <laughs> yeah, they're playing the perfect note right afterwards on yeah, that. But yeah. the vocals are really interesting here. I Again, eventually that feels really good about adding like the layers of vocals at the perfect moments. In this example, they add an extra layer for that transition to that death metal part. That sounds really good. You get more layers of vocals. Devil dances with us. So you have like the triple vocals here, but it doesn't start off like that the entire time. So we got only a double track here and then you get four. God nation, God damn. Right there. That's what I really love about Avenged Sevenfold production is that they add those sparingly in the right places instead of just doing it for the entire song. Some people just do the entire song to get through those heavy, dense mixes. But in this case, they do the double vocals, but then they add more to it when we get to later parts of the song, which is awesome. The devil dances with the scorn, and, right and now the fire keeps us that transition, and then you get the fucking fast death metal. Like, yeah. I love that. I love that. I so really cool. appreciate the rawness of it, too, because it doesn't sound like there's any extra, any extra synths or, like, string instruments in the background. It just sounds like pure guitars and, and yeah. drums and bass, and that's all you're getting. And because I it really is. appreciate that. It's because it is. Oh, yeah. And that's what's so cool is that this is raw Avenged Sevenfold, but still good. The guitar licks that they're playing underneath it are perfectly spread out just to make it sound full. Because that little triad lick that he's doing on guitar, Sinister Gates, and then you have the other guitar going, it really fills it up. Well, you don't need to add extra more extra stuff to it. And now the fire keeps us
Oh my god, they went back to it. I just realized that acoustic part, they're hinting that lead to yep. for the chorus. So that same acoustic lead is in the chorus. I want to hear what the bass is doing there. I think he's bass probably following you along, but I want to hear what kind of tone and stuff they have on there. See, this is one of those Avenged Sevenfold songs that I've referred to in our last reaction that we did too, where it's kind of hard to hear the bass, but if you take it away, you'll notice. Yep. You'll notice right away. No, there's some pauses. Okay, so that's why you don't hear much from the bass because he's holding down quarter notes, meaning he's just playing one note and letting it go out while the drums is filling up the in-betweens. Instead of trying to follow the drums, he's filling up the mix. And that's why we don't have extra layers because we have the bass filling up the layers also. Yep. So that... Because a lot of that subwoof sound that comes off of the bass, like that little resonance off of the tail end of the note, really fills up a mix. And you can do that with bass if you're not playing a bunch of notes at the same time. So sometimes bassists will like follow the kicks to a T, and that can be problematic because they'll make the mix sound muddy. In this case, he's doing the right amount of hits and stuff on the bass to keep it nice and full and stretch it out. And it lines up with those triplets too really well. Yo, this is going to be stuck in my head all fucking <laughs> night, dude. It's so simple, so catchy, but still has dynamics. It's, it's really cool. It's ridiculously I really like it. I like the chorus a lot. Say again? You'll find that stuck in your head for sure. God, man. I can kind of see like it being too annoying at one point like of it being stuck in your head, like where you're just like, God damn it, get out of my head. You know one of those things? Yeah, yeah. It's an earworm. It's like, fuck, it's still in my head. <laughs> Bro, I was just about to say, all right, where's the change? Give me there that. It is. Dude, I felt it too. And we're getting this sick ass bass tone right there. I love everything this I change. wanted, everything I wanted, dude. Everything I wanted is happening. I fucking love it. Oh, it's weird so that I like this part, even though it's in kind of the same. It has the same feel as the chorus. That lead in the chorus. I don't know oh, why. This band does not disappoint. <laughs> it has not. I've been loving this album. Every single song. No form of payment. No pot of gold will satisfy the debt of what he knows. Clever. Clever, clever, clever right there because he's taking the chorus pattern and putting it in this little part with this acoustic guitar section. He's changing up the notes on the second half, but I love how he's following the theme of the song. And that's what's really amazing about the writing of this. They're taking the themes and the rhythms and they're kind of slightly changing it for different parts of the song, which is really badass sounding. It, it feels like there's like he added a slight bit of swing into that to make it like... A little, he, little bobby or a little groovy. I think it's actually the same. I think it's the music behind it, adding yeah. the swing to it more so. I, well, let's listen again. Yeah, at the end there, he's like yeah. swinging that out a little bit. Yeah. Very subtle, but like just those little nuances really make that melody get stuck in your head even worse. <laughs>
forgot to mention this. Actually, the symbol work right here is really phenomenal. It actually, to me, kind of reminds me of the Rev a little bit, a little bit of that flair with the Rev used to do with the symbol work. And as I was going through this clip, I just realized that he was doing this during this stripped back version of the chorus, which is so good. Yo, I love how they stripped it back, dude. This yes. is so good. Great. It's gonna be stuck in my head forever, dude. I love it, dude. Nice, simple, amazing song. It's just catchy, in your face, and it's just a good song. I'm not going to forget that song at all. Still not a fan of that chorus, but everything else, all the other yeah. elements were great. This is, this is a great song. He still has some element of a story in there, too, that he was doing in the middle of the song. And I'm curious. I got to look into the lyrics of this. I know some people said it's kind of is like a concept album, so I'm sure it fits into the puzzle. Because this song... Sounds completely different than every other song so far off the album. Like every song has been its like own adventure or journey or whatnot. But this was kind of like a bridge to another, to something else. All right. If you watch for YouTube, like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Hope you're having a good day out there. See you in the next one. Oh, check out another Vengeful right there, right there, right there. If you're on YouTube, see you.